Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. And it's time to take a look at a River Murray Netball. And joining me on the line now is Hannah Lola, the Vice President of the River Murray Netball Association. Hannah, great to be with you again. How are you? Yeah, fabulous. Yes. Always good to talk netball on a Friday. So much action going on, Hannah. Uh, so let's start with last weekend's game, which saw my Polonga getting up over the Ramblers, 43-31. to 31. Uh, Was this the way that many people predicted this game might have gone? We did predict Maipo to take this one. These um, these girls were fighting out for the Anzac medal, so this was the last of our Anzac round uh, that game. Um, well thought out match. Uh, Maipo did take the points by twelve. So yeah, not if they didn't run away with it. So um, a, a good, I believe, clean contest uh, for Maipo. Zoe Domant won the Anzac medal, and Lucinda Howe Ramblers had uh, a medal um, issued from their club, and Lucinda um, got that one. Joe Voice, we're up against the newbies, the Southern Suns, and the Suns getting it done, Hannah, 62-48. to How did you see this one? Yeah, we predicted this last week. We thought the Suns may have been a bit strong, and they certainly were. And it was, I believe, a really um, good, tight contest, though. Courtney Afford from Joe Voice uh, played a, a really good game, but the defensive pressure from the Suns with Steph Heineke and um, Liv Clark back there uh, was just uh, too much with turnovers and um, accurate shooting at the other end. So, yeah, sun sit nicely on top of the ladder. Mally Storm, the other new side in the competition coming up against the Imperials, but Imperials too strong on this occasion, 68-45, to 45, the final score, Hannah. Yeah, Imps took the drive out to Karunda. That's where Storm had their um, match for the week. Um, and I believe a great day was had um, out at Karinda and, and people hung around and, and participated in some yabby races as well. Um, but on the court, um, it was hard fought and contested netball, uh, but mid-court pressure from Imps really got them um, away and got them to be able to pull away in that last quarter, taking it by 23 goals. The Manham girls too good for Talem Bend, forty-eight to thirty-eight. What were your main takeaways from that game? Yeah, so this was played. Um, it was an evening match played at five thirty under lights. It was great. Um, huge number of spectators come out to watch. Um, people who don't normally get the opportunity, footballers come over and see the standard of netball. And um, this was a really good match. Um, even in the last quarter, Talem got back to within four goals. Uh, so really even, really strong um, defence. Like Manham's, Manham's back line um, of uh, Tracy Davenant and Kelly McGorman is so experienced. But um, Mel Edwards' shooter for Talon didn't miss. She was just, her eye was in and was was fabulous. Um, and then for Manham, Bridie Sims in goal attack and Amy Schultz running the wing attack. Just their transition through... Um, the the mid court quickly um, once it got a, a turnover they got it quickly down through the mid court and that was the difference um, yeah to take that one by ten. Kuron Cats had the bye. We'll just quickly take a look at the ladder, and I want to particularly focus in on the new teams, uh, if we can, Hannah. So just uh, bring our listeners up to speed on how you think they've all traversed in their opening few games in this new, uh, well, it's uh, not a new competition, but they're partaking uh, as a new team in this competition. So we're talking about three sides, the uh, Kuron Cats, the Southern Suns, and the Mallee Storm. Only the Cats seem to be struggling so far, and obviously the Suns are... Uh, well positioned at the top of the ladder. So uh, how do you sort of read what's going on ladder-wise right now with those uh, incorporating those new teams as well, Hannah? Yeah, I think um, Suns have probably been um, a little bit of a surprise packet, but once, um, but, but I don't think the rest of the association realised who who they had to be able to take the court. Um, Muriel Walter, the coach, is very experienced and a really smart coach. Um, Reads play well and can, in the game, get her team correcting, you know, the the things they need to correct. So she doesn't leave it till the next Thursday. So they're sitting nicely there. Uh, Storm has only had one loss, um, and that's 
to IMPS, who are a powerhouse in this association. So they'll be really pleased, I think, sitting there with their two wins. And the Cats, um, without a win at this stage, but um, they're a young and developing team. Um, but at their courts, they've got, you know, a huge number of people participating um, and a great feel around their club. So it doesn't always need success in A grade for a club to feel successful. And I think the Cats are doing a great job um, across their entire 13 teams um, to still feel successful as a club. There we go. Well, we'll move along and talk about the fixtures this weekend. Ramblers, they host the Mallee Storm. Bit of a hard one to call this one might be. Uh, how do you see it going? The Storm will go in as favourites. Oh, listen, I think there's there's multiple games that I think will be decided by less than five goals this week. It's so hard. Um, I'm I'm actually going to, in a really tricky one, I'm actually going to say Ramblers by one or two goals, um, but it will really depend on the defensive pressure from each team and shooting accuracy. Like, it could go either way, but I'll, I'll say Ramblers, but probably be proved wrong. <laughs> Madam Jervois, who do you like here, Hannah? Oh, again, a really close one. Jervois haven't had a win, but they've they've come up against some really tough opposition. Um, I think they're playing great netball. They've got um, really good quality on their team, but uh, just I will pick Manham. But again, I think it'll be you know two to three goals in it, um, and not much more. We've also got the Kurong Cats up against Talem Bend. Uh, Kurong Cats, an opportunity for them to get on the board. They would hope, Hannah. Yeah, they would, but Tail and will Bend will be the same. So neither club's had a, a win yet. Uh, seeing Tail last week against Manham, um, I think they're starting to gel as a team and they've got Tilly Hughes running centre, who's really strong. Um, Cats have got Bridget Watson, who was at Tail last year, so she's moved clubs this year, so um, she'll know what to expect um, from Talem. Um, I see Coach Belinda Freund is listed on the team at this stage, so whether she puts herself on the court um, to give them some height in goals, we'll see. I'm actually going to pick Talem for a win in this one. Finally, the blockbuster match of the round, without any question, is Imperials. They take on the Southern Suns. What a game we've got in store here, Hannah. Oh, it is, and I wish I had the inside run. I know the Suns are going to miss one of their key players who's heading overseas. Abby Keogh's heading overseas for about five or six weeks, and I'm just not sure if she's on the plane yet or if she'll be here for the game. I think if she's here for the game, I'm going to tip Suns to cause a bit of an upset across the association, even though they're top, but um, I think they've got, uh, the the class on the court and the coaching prowess to beat Imps in a really close one. Um, so, yeah, we'll um, look forward to chatting what actually comes out um, next week. Big call. We'll see how it all goes. Hannah Lollers, the Vice President of the River Murray Netball Association. Hannah, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy keeping across all those games this weekend, and we'll do it all again next week. Fabulous. Chat next week. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Bye.